Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, I hope you've had a wonderful celebration of St. Valentine's yesterday. I uh, took my wife for our annual uh, epic uh, degustation uh, menu, trying every time a different restaurant. Every time we say it's a bit uh, too much food, too long, and probably too much wine as well. And I'm regretting it uh, today at the office, I have to say. Uh, but anyway, we went to a fantastic restaurant called uh, Otto e Mezzo Bombana here at uh, Alexandra House in Hong Kong, in case you, you've been there or you would like to, to try it uh, next time you're in Hong Kong. Uh, beautiful menu, seven uh, dishes with a wine pairing. I have to say next year probably I'll go for something a lot uh, more modest and uh, without the wine. Uh, but anyway, I had to uh, pair this wonderful dinner with a classy watch and I chose to go with my uh, Cartier Tank American. It's a reference 1736 from uh, the early 2000s uh, with a very nice uh, Piguet movement. So it's a very refined watch with a lot of uh, character. And as we know, uh, Cartier is, uh, is a house of design. Whether you get the uh, entry level, uh, the quartz movements, or the run of the mill movements, or a very high end movement, you get the design. And uh, it started all the way back with their first wristwatch for uh, Santos Dumont, of course. Uh, but I would recommend, as uh, everyone is wondering what to buy today that will be uh, collectible in 20 years, uh, given the renewed interest for Cartier in the modern and vintage world. Uh, I think you should look for those uh, high-end pieces uh, that they uh, produce uh, occasionally in a precious metal and you won't regret it. The style is immediate and it still costs a lot less than uh, a Patek or an AP, for example. Uh, there was a bit of Panerai reference in the restaurant. Actually, a waiter was wearing a Panerai himself. The service was impeccable, by the way. The ambiance, fantastic in that uh, restaurant. And my wife had some uh, good wrist game. Uh, she was wearing her bejeweled uh, Rolex. Uh, they just, and yes, uh, the beef uh, was uh, delicious, especially with a bit of uh, truffle uh, on top. Very extravagant. Anyway, guys, let me know how your St. Valentine's went and uh, what was your risk game, of course. Bye-bye.